hosts of our two Herald teams, People System and Funf Dollar. And they are, they're going to do a Herald for you via Google Hangouts. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to try to be doing live streams like this uh, a, a few times a week. I think Thursdays we're going to do games instead of jams. Fridays will be this or, or GLB or other improv. And Saturdays we'll be doing other weird stuff online too. So we hope you keep checking this out. Um, and I, Noah, I don't, is there more we need to say? No, but I, I did just uh, realize, I, I don't know how we're going to get a suggestion from the audience. So um, if you have a quick, <laughs> I'll, I'll pull up Twitter and just uh, point at the first word I oh, see. <laughs> we thought, of, we, thought Noah, we had Noah. this planned out so well. Noah, I have, a small, I have a small audience here. Should I just ask them? Yeah, ask your small audience. Okay, one it's gonna second. be Goo Goo Gaga, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that reminds me of it. <laughs> My first abortion. <laughs> one, uh, can we get a one word to do? I haven't had one. I haven't never had one. <laughs> Candle. Okay, should be working on it. <laughs> Candle. The Candle. suggestion is Candle. 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 Some people Candle. are saying the stream link doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, the stream is it. also not working. Uh, uh, all right, hold on. Oh, Let me just make this. All right, no one it's think about on handle. My end. Uh, you guys just go ahead. It's working on my end. The stream is not available to your domain? Oh, <laughs> what? No. Oh, my hmm. God. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let me figure this out. Why would that be happening? Was it, I mean, was it gotta... handle or candle? It was candle. 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 Okay. So candle makes me think of this time when we tried to stream a uh, show mm -hmm. and then it wasn't. <laughs> <able> to, uh... <laughs> and it came to me. You lived your life like a candle in the wind. The wind, the wind. wind. Wouldn't that be a depressing song to mm -hmm. make viral right now? <laughs> when the walls came down. Do you think Elton John will do like a Corona version like he did for Princess mm. Diana? Mm. No oh. doubt. No doubt. Bono already made some me... kind of uh, Corona ballad, right? Who did? Who? I, I think Bono's made some kind of Corona ballad. Mm. Oh, I haven't fuck. heard it though. Fuck off. I heard yeah. that Everyone has it on their phones right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to delete it for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Weird that it came out months ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but did you hear the Nicki Minaj remix? I feel like we're doing a pattern <laughs> game right now. <laughs> That's a bop. The, the Nicki Minaj remix of what? It's a coronavirus remix. Oh my God. Great. I'm not kidding. You got to look into it. It's, stuck, <laughs> it's been stuck in my head all day. We're trying to work out the problem. I'll let you know. <laughs> Peter, how's the audience doing? Uh, they're getting restless. <laughs> they're getting restless. <laughs> My God. I don't, I don't know about understand. you guys. I got like uh, 30 people here. Uh, mm. I, each I have a square of space, oh, right? No, everyone's infected. Big time. <laughs> I have, I have a cat. That's all I have. All I have is a cat. Oh, oh wow! Jesus, oh. Tell me a word, Ginger. Tell me a word. Tell me a word. She didn't say a word. Karen, what movies have you watched so far? Beginning with the first one and ending with the last one. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Nice. And, um, oh my god, what did we watch last night? Uh, Dread. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know so, that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting Nat to watch all of the right Indiana Jones movies because she's never seen them. So Nice. I saw Cats and Cats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you watched it twice? <laughs> yeah. No. I've only seen Parasite. Oh. Oh, thanks, baby. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Yeah, um, I have almost watched uh, next to nothing at this point. I've never seen that one before. No. Yeah, uh, it's uh, mostly involved. It's actually starring me. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like a oh, rom-com. That's, that's the sequel to Nothing, right? Yeah, next to nothing. <laughs> yeah. Next to nothing. 
Well, there's, and then there's, a, there's, a, one the worst called, there's another one called Right After That. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys, this is fucking awful. Oh no. What happened? Well, because when I tested yesterday, I was logged into my Comedy Cafe Berlin account. So mm -hmm. it never came up. But apparently, you can only live stream to within the organization. So that means only people with a Comedy Cafe Berlin account <laughs> can do the live stream. Oh, uh, well, I mean, that's why it so works it, for the Noah. Learning, learning curve. Fuck me. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to fix this right now. Well, let's just Fuck do a Harold me. anyway. We're recording, aren't we? I am recording. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can put it out. We'll put it out later. <laughs> yeah, put it out later. Um, what about our fans? It's I not know, like we're going to get reactions like... anyway, worry. Um, so were you trying to put it yeah, on Yeah, that's right. YouTube? No laughter. It, I, it, you can't put it on YouTube anymore. They got rid of that functionality. I thought that's what was uh, replacing okay. it. But um, What about... Is there a way that we can like face, you know, I know you can do Facebook live or Instagram. Yeah. Live. The problem is none of the stuff works with, with uh, the conference mm -hmm. feature, with the meeting feature. So if you're recording uh, it, then we so. should just upload, you could just edit it and upload it later. Right. I mean, it's not like we could have interacted with people anyway. Right. Exactly. So I, I just go ahead and I'll post this later and I will, uh, <laughs> I will let our very what sad we literally audience. Know. Like just, I guess would that work if I just like went onto Instagram and just we like just, we just came up with a with a solution. Let's just go ahead with that and um Okay, okay I'm yeah. gonna do it we'll live. I quite like a man idea actually. Uh hold on. maybe, maybe I can uh screen stream live screen capture my my yeah, hold on, let me do it this way. What are we doing? Screen capturing? Yeah. That won't have the audio, will it? Yeah, that's true. I, let's just go ahead with this, and I'll post a link later. You're going to post a link later? Richard Linklater? Yeah. <laughs> I hate those guys' movies. What? <laughs> Michelle, so this boring. is not acceptable. This is really, really wrong. I told you I don't like artsy films. <laughs> His suggestion is candle. <laughs> It's still? <laughs> uh, I have a I have a small candle story. Uh, just that my um, my brother used to be really mean to me. Um, we actually <laughs> we didn't get on for a very long time, and that's not a fun bit. But we're, when we were young, he when we get when we used to go to church because um, uh, we had like Catholic parent uh, mom and grandma and stuff. Um, he would he we would like pay a quid and like light a candle. You pay a bit of money, you light a candle, right? Um, and he would tell me that the wax was sweet, it was like candy. <laughs> um, and he knows that I've got a sweet tooth, obviously, and he's abusing that piece of knowledge. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I don't know, I would eat it. Like I, I, I feel like the weird thing is I feel like it happened, I ate it more than once. I ate <laughs> it, like this is disgusting. And then like, you know, next time we were there, he did the same thing and I ate it. I can still remember the taste, it's a sort of very powdery, um, it's it's kind of conceivable. It's almost if it had some sugar in it, it could kind of be food. Um, I can kind of jump in on this it. monologue yeah. too, actually. That's kind of that's kind of that's kind of thing in, yeah. where, uh, with with uh, does anyone know those like baby bell cheeses? The like oh, yeah. uh, the ones that yeah. I used to I used to eat those, and I would deliberately eat the wax part too. Just not eat it, swallow it, but like chew on it for like a sense of gum. But it has no taste at all. But I would like look forward to being able to eat the cheese and then chew on the wax part as well, which is kind of gross. But uh. that that reminds me that when I was in high school, I would sometimes go to sleep with gum in my mouth and then wake up <laughs> and keep eating it <clears throat> the next day. And one time I had this piece of gum. It was do you remember bubble tape, the hot pink, like really long mm -hmm. tape? I had this bubble tape gum that I had eaten for like more than a day, maybe two days, I don't know. And I remember distinctly, my mom wanted to go to this little Italian specialty grocery store a couple blocks from our house and I didn't want to go inside. So I was waiting in the car. And then I guess I had been chewing the gum for so long that it dissolved in my mouth. 
and it became the most disgusting tasting foamy substance I'd ever had. And I had to like roll down the window so I could lean out and spit this gum out that I had chewed to complete like decomposition. Gross. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, here you go, honey. Just just uh, have another bite because I don't have anything for breakfast tomorrow. So just have another bite of roast beef and um, and then you can go to bed, okay? What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean have another bite? Like like just just have a bite, but don't finish it. Just leave it for tomorrow morning because I just I didn't have time to go out and get breakfast. I've, I've been crazy at work. Uh, you want me to eat the same beef tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, honey, I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't want you to go hungry. I don't want, I want to be a good mother. And I just, I hope that, uh, I hope that's okay with you. But if you I could don't just- eat this, I don't eat beef for breakfast, mom. Here, take a big, just take a big spoonful of roast beef uh, and then hold it in your mouth and go to sleep. No. Read you a, a bedtime story, okay? Mom, if, if I have beef for breakfast tomorrow, all the kids are gonna make fun of me at school, okay? They're gonna call me beef breakfast, okay? Well, so just fucking sort it out, Mom. Oh, jeez. Look. I was sick of this. Look, I'm sorry, honey. It's just it's, things have been crazy at work. The the pipes have been breaking left and right, and I just haven't been able to fix them. Okay. I hope I I I, I just I'm sorry. Look, Mom. I know your job as a plumber is. It's really high pressure, okay? But I think you're neglectful of your children, if I may say so. Oh, you know, sometimes I feel like the communication between us is clogged, honey, and I just- Clogged like a pipe? Yeah. And I just, I feel like, I feel like we need to get some Drano in this relationship. Oh, you just, you, you don't, your trouble is that you, you value your job more than your children, and your children should be the most important thing to you. Honey, do you realize what would happen if all the pipes burst in this city? Well, I don't know. I, I guess there'd be poop everywhere. There'd be poop everywhere. And everyone would get diseases probably or something. I don't know. But it just can't, it can't happen, okay? And and I'm I'm a, I'm the director of the plumbing program at this at this plumbing company that I work for. And Mom, do you, do you ever wonder why you had children at all? If all yeah. you care about is poop and pipes and plumbing? Oh, geez, you know, I didn't ever want to get into this with you. I, I, I just, I just wish you would just take a big spoonful of roast beef, close your mouth, close your eyes, fall asleep. Mm, oh, yum, yum, yum. It's nice today, but it won't be nice tomorrow. It's, you know, roast beef is always better the next day. That's not true. It, well, in your mouth. You just care about your job too much, and I'm sick of it. Okay, I'm gonna want to live with Dad. Um, I'm sorry, you, you just said hello to that mannequin. Um, I, I, I did, yes. Yeah, well, remember 10 minutes ago when you, when you came through the store and you said hello to the mannequin and I explained that's, that's a mannequin? Uh, <laughs> but he just didn't really learn a, your lesson. No, he just looks like he has a lovely soul, though. I just, I, I, I just you know, I wanted to see how he's doing. Good old yeah. Jeffrey. Right, yeah, that, that is what you said the first time. And I, and I said, that's... True, because it's a very realistic looking mannequin, but um, you, you've, you've just said hello to the, to the mannequin for a second time, I noticed. I, I, know, I, I know, but but the last time when I walked away after you, you threw me out, he just looked a bit sad, I thought, and I was walking away and I was thinking, oh, poor old Jeffrey, he's, he's, you know, it's, it's, it's snowing outside and he's just wearing a, a pair of shorts. It just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right at all. Well, um, I mean, if, if Jeffrey were real, which he's not, he's uh, a figure made of plastic. Um, you know, he, he's inside and he's in the store and he's, he's, it's a perfect temperature here to be wearing shorts. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, I, I was walking just in the other section of the department store just now and uh, I noticed uh, a couple uh, nude mannequins. Uh, are you allowing people to just be completely nude in this department store? Oh my gosh. Uh, they're, they're mannequins. They're, um, they're not, uh, it's not really nudity because they're they're just a smooth surface. Uh, yeah, but they can't dress themselves. This is this is unbelievable. Well, would you would of... you like it? Would you like it if you had to stand naked in the middle of the store? No, no, I wouldn't, ma'am. <laughs> um, there she is, officer. There she is. What's going on? Arms torn off. Heads. 
torn asunder. We, we yeah. need to change up the positioning, okay? We have to keep them fresh for spring summer. Dismember them. They're, they're not real. What is wrong with you people? Are, <sighs> Someone do something. There's a, there's a man out there and he hasn't got a face. It's just almost opaque with just a lump for a nose. Terrifying. Okay, so I've got a really fun question for you now. Um, have you ever thought about like, how many candles are you gonna light for me if I die before you? Well, sorry, what? How many candles are you gonna light for me if I die before you? Um, Just like a fun question. <laughs> Jeez, uh, I don't know that there's actually not a lot that's really fun about that question, to be honest with you. Um, oh, come on. Don't don't hide from me. Oh, God, well, I mean, look, look. I I guess you know it's good to imagine these kind of hypothetical scenarios about like what happens if you die, what happens if I die, but not from like a okay, fun, okay, okay. like more from like a legal perspective, you know, like and and loss perspective. Oh come on, we're just having fun. Okay, okay, fine. I just, yeah, okay. Right. Just tell me. You can just tell me. Um, I guess I'd light like I don't know, like a million <laughs> candles, like. Oh my god! Yeah, I don't a know. A million? I, I don't know. Like that's how that's like as a symbol of our relationship, I guess. Oh wow! Thank thank God! What a relief! Okay. Because you know, the last guy I dated, when I asked him this, do you know okay. what his answer was? No, I don't. It was like ten, and I said, "You mean ten? How many tens? One a week? Ten a week?" Ten a month, and he was like, "No, just 10. Oh, okay. So Can just to that? back up, just to back up, I do believe, I do believe you, but uh, but so you you use this question as a as like a sort of litmus test for the the quality of your relationship. Yeah, because it's like it's just so much more fun and revealing than the other kind of boring things. Like, oh, do you want to have kids? Except, uh, sorry, I just, uh, I, I, I like, I respect you and you know I love you, but uh, it's not fun because you broke up with that person. That's not fun. <laughs> well, we're together now. Look, if I don't know how someone is going to worship my existence after I'm gone, how can I know that they're going to value me when I'm here? God, I, 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 I don't just don't know if it's if it's worth asking such a kind of ludicrous hypothetical question. No offense. You passed. You. Yeah. you passed. Okay, good. Next question. So, that's good. Okay, next question. Okay, fine. Okay, yeah. um, for my coffin, what okay. wood? <laughs> what kind of wood would you choose? What oh, wait, wood wait, would I choose not, if I had to choose? To if wood. I would choose wood, is what you're saying? Yeah. You could choose any material that's available, like in reality, though. Keep it real, no sci-fi stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little concerned before I answer that all of your questions seem to circle what kind of like burial tomb or worship uh, you want me to kind of do after your death. But I guess I would probably bury you in something natural that would like decompose with the earth, you know, so that you could like become one with the earth. That seems kind of. Oh my god. That is so beautiful. Yeah. Well, I guess. I, can, we, can we talk about something else? I mean, sure. I guess it's your turn to ask a question. That's how okay. conversations Okay. So work. if I had to ask a question, then I guess like if um, if you could be any animal, what would you be? Um, <clears throat> are you sure that's the question you want to ask? Y yeah. It seems like a fun, fun like, it seems like a really fun question. Um. Are you talking about like if I become re <laughs> re reincarnated? Like, what animal would I become? Is that the question? No, you're no. Asking? I mean, like, wait, I mean, like, if you could pick a fun animal that you could be, what would you be? Like, nothing to do with death. Like, don't think about death at all. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's really hard for me to separate death from questions. Fun, fun, fun conversations. Okay. Um, Just try. Oh, probably that like um, really, really deadly snake that eats every um, one of its young. 
if you leave it around it too much? Um, okay. <laughs> okay, that's fun. That's fun. Um, all right, all okay, right, big okay. brothers. Okay, big brothers, right? Yeah. Great. Um, yeah. Hey, hey. This is how we're gonna fuck up our little brothers this week, okay? So like, uh, I uh, I put spiders in my brother's hair. <laughs> I got a bunch of itching powder. I'm gonna put it all in his jocks. I, I, I like I like farted in all of his shoes. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I wrapped his face in uh, cling film. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that'll totally kill him. <laughs> yeah, well, I did his uh, taxes, but I did them all wrong. <laughs> so I, I rigged a shotgun up so that when he opens the door, it's gonna it's gonna bang and it's gonna, it's gonna shoot him in the head. Yeah. Oh. I've, uh, oh. I've, I've slowly been uh, catfishing him and he's just about to move to Kansas <laughs> to date a woman named Beverly who doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I stabbed mom and dad, so now we're both off. And... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. Sorry, I thought I was on the other line. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, this is Child Protective Services calling. <laughs> oh, uh, what do you want? Uh, <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, is this Suzanne Clemens? Uh, I'm a friend of Suzanne Clemens. Uh, can I pass on a message for her? Oh, um... We're not really supposed to do that, so. Oh, but you know what? I'm about to go oh, on my wait, lunch break. Here. Oh, <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> uh, yes, this may potentially be Suzanne Clemens. Yes, hi. We've um we've had a complaint. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Stop. we've had a complaint that your neighbor's pipes were burst, and you sent your children over there to fix well, them. Uh, not just any children, I'll have you know. These are the children of a very experienced and wise plumber, okay? And plumbing has run in our blood for a very long time, so I don't see what the problem is. Um, all right. Um, did they or did they not fix the problem? They did repair the leaks. Let me just check my paperwork here. Okay, yes. Um... There's a bit of concern, a bit of concern for you. Okay, what's what's the concern? They were very young. Listen, their arms were very toned from holding the pipes. Listen, I take my job very seriously. There's nothing I wouldn't do to protect the reputation of my business. Now, I've cultivated my children to have arms that can fit into those tight pipes that not any plumber can. Okay, okay. I'll just let me just note that down here in my file. Um, all right, but listen, if we hear about this kind of thing again, uh, it'll be more than just a phone call, Ms. Clemens. Uh, I should hope so. I should hope I get an award. That's what I should be getting. And I'm, I don't think you understand the severity of this problem. What's the problem? My kids, they're, they're they're meant to be plumbers. Plumbing is the most noble thing you can do. They were surrounded by a room full of flooding poop. It's good for the immune system, okay? Look, I've got to be building my business from the ground up, okay? And the best way to build your business is to do it grassroots style. Send them out. I've got another one on the way. You think I'm not going to be sending that one out? I, look, I, that's private business. Um... Okay, I just hope that you put the safety of your children first. I mean, I think As we're going to have to do a visit. We're going to have to do a home visit. Let me uh, schedule you can one. visit my business. I mean, I guess you could call it a home, but it's a business primarily. But if you want right. to come down to our HQ and meet some of my youngest employers, uh, employees, I should say, then, you know, come right ahead. 
but I'm not going to put my. Excuse me, I would like to compl uh, complain about um, some some package material that I received to my house um, uh, today from your store. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead with your complaint, sir. Um, yeah, so I ordered a bunch of these beautiful Cabbage Patch dolls, and I uh, could not believe the inhumane conditions which with they were shipped to my house. Um, okay. Uh, this is, uh, kind of unorthodox, but go ahead. Please explain. Yeah, um, I ordered these beautiful Cabbage Patch dolls of, of a large number, and I was hoping that they would be shipped to my house in, in the comfort of something akin to an airplane, uh, style seating inside of the box. But I found that I opened them and they were wrapped in plastic and piled on top of each other. Uh, right. Uh, was there something wrong with the plastic? I mean, these are is, this is our standard procedure, sir. We uh, we want to make sure that they don't get contaminated or anything on the way, and it's they're dolls, sir. They're they're yeah, not. No, they're, well, that, that's exactly precisely why I'm just absolutely like my my brain is so mad right now, and I'm angry because like they're not just dolls. Like these are these are Cabbage Patch dolls specifically. And if you even paid attention to like the way people feel about like these are real things and people love them and I love them. And it just, it's really an, uh, disheartening to see that you have not only shipped them this way, but have a policy, a standardized policy of shipping dolls like piled on top of each other. I mean, can you, who, who can you point me to who is in charge here? Uh, um, yeah, go ahead. J Jeremy, I'll take over the call. Um, sir, Jeremy's informed me that this is the third time you're calling about this. This you've you've ordered these dolls from us three times before, so you should be very familiar with how we do our packaging. Yes, I'm actually one of uh, the cabbage certified customers. Uh, I, I'm glad to give you my uh, cabbage certification number. Um, uh, I'm a, I'm an awards member, uh, premium platinum status. And we know, I, we uh, know, we speak to you quite frequently in this office, yeah, sir. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for talking to me again. But again, I'm, I have to say that if, if things don't change, I am going to have to probably talk to, I don't know, the United Nations, uh, human rights watch or something. Uh, yes, uh, maybe, sir, I can, I can take over from this one. Uh, yes, this is the, uh, uh, a uh, human cabbage patch uh, rights watch. Uh, did you say you had a complaint, sir? Yes, I'm a cabbage uh, patch uh, customer, certified customer, a platinum member, and uh, I'm <gasps> glad. Um, thank you for taking this issue so seriously. Because, Absolutely. Uh, uh, it's just like I ordered a large box of cabbage patch dolls, and I was expecting them to be shipped in like tiny airplane seats with entertainment systems so that they can all be comfortable. And what I found was that they were piled on top of each other, practically suffocating inside of plastic bags that were sealed. So I, I need someone to explain this. Uh, did you specify that? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I Sorry to interrupt. Uh, it's it's me again. Um, I just I just reviewed your membership, sir. And, and it looks like it's actually uh, several months past uh, renewal, and so you've actually been moved on to the sauerkraut patch uh, uh, service membership at this what point. Are the, what are the parameters of that membership plan? Uh, well, you uh, have a <laughs> <laughs> parameters of that membership plan. I need to know right now if you're going to tell me that my membership to pa Cabbage Patch has been changed. I need to know what the parameters of the sauerkraut membership are. Well, you're going to start receiving sauerkraut dolls instead of Cabbage Patch dolls. Um, okay, and these are real. These are actual sauerkraut. Hello, I would like to say something. Um, my name is Henrik Sauerkraut, and um, I am a, I am a sauerkraut doll. And I would just like to say uh, to you, sauerkraut member, uh, hello and welcome to the service. I would like you to know that I do not mind to be uh, packaged in plastic and sent in a box. In fact, I like it, and I look forward to coming to your home. You, you're a, you're a doll. I am a doll. Welcome to therapy, sir. Uh, I, so at what point did the sauerkraut dolls begin uh, speaking to you? And, and, and what, what else was going on in your life at this time? Uh, well, I was, um, uh, as, as you, maybe you're not a big fan of cabbage patch dolls, but I was a certified customer platinum status at one point. Uh, and I appreciate Yes, I know. <laughs> and uh, I really appreciate that you guys offer such Touch therapeutic his hair. services. Touch his hair. Oh, uh, do you mind if I touch touch her hair? That Don't would... ask permission. Okay. So, like, uh, 
a lot of people, you know, they try to keep in shape. And so a lot of people take the low calorie approach or the low carb approach. But I found a new approach that's working for me called the low flavor approach. And I find that the less flavor you ingest, then the less weight that you put on your body. Um, and so there's a lot of ways that you can adopt this approach in a way that will suit your lifestyle and your um, preferences for this. But uh, essentially, uh, the blander, the better is what I like to say. And <laughs> we eat things like sand. We eat things like um, water. We we eat a lot of water and sand. Sometimes I put it together and uh, and I and I, I bake it in the oven, but I don't add any flavors to it because that's that would go that would that wouldn't then I would want more. And yeah, a lot of a lot of people out there they're eating these flavors, right? But it's like, it's the worst thing for your body. It's toxic. It's full of flavor. It's full of uh, shit you don't need in your body. All you need is sand. Sand, water, uh, you know, drywall. Stuff that's but you've bland. also got to be, like, really careful because sometimes the water is, like, kind of salty. And if the water's salty, then that gives the flavor of salt. So you got to burn off the salt first so there's no salt in your water because you, you don't want salty water in your sand. You can be you can be pretty upfront with that with people. I was at a restaurant last night. The water, uh, the waiter, <laughs> water, the waiter came up, gave me some water, and it turned out it was mineral water. Uh, hello, sir. I'll be your water tonight. Uh, what would you like to <laughs> And I, I just spat that up on the table. I was like, this is, this is not bland. Hey, hey, Headwater, uh, what happened? You just went over to that table and they, they totally ignored <laughs> you. What happened? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, he, he seemed to have, uh, he seemed to be weighted down very heavily. Uh, it, the chair was starting to buckle under the weight of his. He I'm didn't. Sorry, I'm trying to record for my Instagram live right now. It's like you kind of interrupted me in the middle of my recording. I don't like. Just, we're talking. running a restaurant here. Obviously, uh, Hi, I have to talk um, to my head water. Me? Excuse me. I don't know what all this ruckus is over here, but I'm trying to have a very important conversation with my boyfriend about the afterlife. Okay, my well, afterlife. We're trying, to, we're trying to get our waters over to every table, okay? Because we need to take people's, you know, orders, okay? So just... Okay, TikTokers, hot tip. When you get your water, you want to make sure you spit it on the waiter water. All right? Out. <laughs> so everybody just list their greatest uh, vice. Mine, I have a sweet tooth. I just, I can't stop eating sugar. What's, what's yours, Stan? I love a good pun. <laughs> That's great. What about you, Stacy? I, um, I just see, I see dead people. I, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Stacy, that's not a vibe. I, I can't help it. I just see dead people. Um, like right next to you, there's a little boy. Stacey, that's not a vice. Like an orphan child. Stacey, you know, a vice is like something that's like that's like I don't know, like sweets. Like they taste good. Yeah. But they're or like I like movies with uh, you know, uh, Cameron Diaz or something. I don't know. It's a vice if he okay. if he fucks him. What's that? Yeah, if he fucks the, 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 the dead people, then that's a vice. That's a good point. Yes. Uh, so Stacey, well, they're spirits. People, is that what? The spirits. If he fucks the spirit. Yeah, yeah. not the vibe. Uh, okay. I mean, it just feels naughty that I see them. That's enough for me. That I mean, not off. if it's consensual, then it's not really a vice. That's just something you're doing. Yeah, that's yeah, like, right. Doug, Doug's right. Maybe it's like something that they planned out ahead of time when they had a really serious conversation about how they would deal with it if one of them died. Yeah, I totally agree with what Mitchell just said. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I guess I can ask. I guess I can ask one next time I see them. They they normally ask for my help, getting like um getting closure. That's not like having an orgasm. That's like fixing unfinished business. Huh? Isn't that what an <laughs> orgasm is? <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, when you put it like that. I mean, I don't know. I've never had one. Um. 
Okay. Is that your advice? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm into I'm into complete abstinence. Right. Uh, my advice is cheese. <laughs> oh, that's a that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Hey, De Dennis. Dennis. That is good. Cheese. Dennis with the cheese. Your room is just full of ghosts. Oh. A really bloody I ghost. Thought, I thought that was my cheese parts because I'm lactose intolerant. You see. Wait, you could see us. You could see us in the background of the video. Yeah, oh. I wasn't sure it'd work in the oh. webcam. But... Oh my God, no one's ever seen it before. All right, what? open up in there. It's the Child Protective Services. We know that you've got a lot of beta babies being mistreated in there. Hey, no, we don't. Everything's fine in oh. here. Dude, the Beanie Babies oh. are fine. Everything's fine oh. with the Beanie Babies. Oh, yeah, then let me in and inspect them. Open up right uh, now. You... Come, come on. on in. Come on in. Everything's normal yeah. here. Oh, my God. I've never seen a place like this in my life. The dust. The floating particles. Isn't it lovely? It's so cozy. Yeah. Not only we have baby, baby. young baby chimney sweeps to come over and clean up. Ooh. These Ooh. baby babies have been left in the sun to fade. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Is that what that is? That's the sun? Ooh. How do you justify this? <laughs> Oh my! How do we justify, Wait. guys? Hold on, could you give us a minute? Could you give us a minute? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, hey, ghost! Hey, ghost! How are we going to justify this? No, no, no! What's my philosophy? Up, we're apparitions. It's like, what? What is the sun to us? If we leave a beanie baby out in the sun, we don't have, we don't have physical bodies to pick up a beanie baby. Yeah, that's a pretty good point. Yeah. Right. Good point. I died in eighteen twelve. I don't even know what a beanie baby is. <laughs> That's great. I thought it was a rag. I thought it was an oily rag. I thought a beanie baby was uh, was something that happened uh, when you got very sick uh, and. Uh... Part of your body fell off, but that's because I'm from the 1400s. <laughs> honey, honey, honey! I just read. I just read in the paper that Beanie Babies are suddenly worth a lot of money. I'm gonna go down in the basement and and just pack them all up and send them. Oh, yeah, well, but but you've been collecting those for years since the 1400s. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, do you really they're think finally they're finally are they finally worth something? They're finally, finally worth a fortune. Oh my god. I read it in the Daily Times. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever annual uh, Beanie Baby auction. I'm very excited to pre present the first lot for you all today, lot number one. This Beanie Baby is a very special Beanie Baby. It is over 300 years old, and it is. Uh, and if you look very closely, you can see the remains of a uh, human bone inside of it. And uh, it's my Beanie Baby. Uh, thank you for yeah. We, it's supposed to be a, 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 a anonymous auction, so thank you. So please, no <laughs> shouting, no shouting that it's your beanie oh, baby. Oh, I'm taking that beanie baby home. <laughs> that beanie okay, baby. Okay, so got uh, my the, the auctioning uh, is going to begin. We're going to start. Uh, we we valued it starting at a uh, at a uh, at hundred uh, euros. So stop, no, stop, uh, hundred no, euros no, over no. here. Hundred over euros over here. Hundred euros over here. Who's got who's got hundred hundred twenty hundred twenty. Hey. Hey. One twenty, one twenty, one twenty. We got one thirty, one thirty. I have one million candles. One million candles. One million candles. One million. Oh, one more. One million candles. Mm. Sir, I got a question for you. I just wandered in here, and uh, I just like auctions, but I don't know what a beanie baby is. Is a beanie baby when you eat a vegetarian burrito, and then you got to go take a big get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. I will trade you a million sauerkraut kids. <laughs> oh my, a million sauerkraut kids, a million sauerkraut kids. Anyone got more than a million sauerkraut kids? I'll give you a one real chimney sweep child. <laughs> one real chimney sweep child. One real chimney sweep child. One more. Sweetie, but yeah. sweetie, I want to be buried with the baby babies. <laughs> Buried with the Beanie Babies. Going once, going once, sold to being buried with the Beanie Babies. 
Oh, fuck. Ooh. Oh, my goodness me. It's it's a baby bell. They just removed, <laughs> they removed this unnecessary, and that's show. Unnecessary, <laughs> unnecessary packaging. Very nice. Uh, if you're at home, give them a round of applause, even if you're alone in your living room. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> That was our very first virtual Herald night, um, which was not live streamed, <laughs> but was recorded. <laughs> and it'll go up to our loving audience shortly. Uh, if Feel you're watching this, it. I'm not going to edit this. There's no way. <laughs> um, if you're watching this and you uh, you have a, a, a little bit of change, a little bit of virtual change that you could throw our way, Comedy Cafe Berlin would appreciate your support. You can go to our website and donate to help keep uh, CCB open or let us stay open while we're closed. Uh, and hopefully we're back soon. In the meantime, we're gonna keep doing this. Anybody else have anything else they wanna promote? Uh, uh, listen to the, the Berlin Open home. Stage Show. Stay the yeah, fuck home. Stay the fuck <laughs> home. We're doing a virtual drunk classics tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's in Saturday, I, yeah. Um, I think it's also from 8 p.m. So all of that's on Facebook as well and we're doing a Macbeth. Should be a lot of fun. Um, oh, dial in as well. I made a, a video sketch uh, starring Amanda. Um, uh, the URL is www.youtube.com slash V equals um, <laughs> J J I U zero P one two. Let's check that out. I've been I've been looking for some Cadbury cream eggs, but I haven't been able to find any. They have them at Crazy Bastard. I got one. Bastard. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you can probably get it. I want one too. Actually, after actually, Easter, they're like, to. after Easter, they're like twelve cents uh, an egg. So. <laughs> Shit. Well, they have them all year round in England. Easter's okay. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for joining in. Uh, a huge thank you and applause to all of our performers tonight. We'll be back. Bye. 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 Should we stay in to talk about it?